the recipient for the 2020 Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy is Katie Hopkins. This is Katie Hopkins. My name is Katie Hopkins. I am a straight, white, Christian. She probably doesn't like you. I don't believe you can be fat and happy. I think that's just a cop out. Yeah, Islam is taking know. over my country. I'm not a big fan of the feminazis. I am a minority white. Because if you're an immigrant, Muslim, a full-time mother, black, suffering from mental health, overweight, Palestinian, wearing bad clothes, a feminist, have a tattoo, transgender, homosexual, Scottish, an Ebola victim, an asylum seeker, or if your name is Chardonnay, Chantal, Charmaine, Tyler, Brooklyn, Adelaide, Orlando, or Rio, or Jordan, or Paris, or any geographical location, she doesn't like you. Feminists can go and do one. I don't have Muslim friends. So despite her charming views, one million Twitter followers, and friendship with Donald Trump, Katie hasn't won many awards, so we thought it would be nice to give her one for being Britain's biggest So three months ago, we set up the Cape Town Collective for the Freedom of Speech. It's a campaign group made up of, um, me and Archie. Although, if you look closely at the website, the picture of our founder is actually an image of a leader of the Ku Klux Klan. He looks old for a guy that died age 17. The swanky website also features a photo of my dad and the woman who makes the announcements on the London Underground. The idea was simple. I pretended to be my dad and invited Katie to Prague to pick up our fake Lifetime Achievement Award, the Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy. And Katie was delighted to accept our award. The game was on. So, the entire membership of the Cape Town Collective interrupted their holiday to start planning how and where they would give Katie her fake award. Where's cheapest? <laughs> no, <laughs> it, so we're doing it in Prague. <laughs> And we can have a really nice dinner. And it's Prague. And she sent us some lovely emails. Um, here's a nice one. You know, She's actually very polite. So pl really well brought up and great use of grammar. Too. Yeah. Dear Leslie, that all sounds incredibly kind. I'm quite overwhelmed by it all. You kind of get used to taking incoming fire. So this is quite a change. Oh my God. This is incoming fire. Okay, so we've booked a dinner room at the Four Seasons where we're going to have our dinner. We have registered companies' houses, so it is a real company. Yeah, that is true. It's you are the director of a racist organization. Congrats. Thank you very much. Back in London, it was time for the Posh News, hosted by Archie Manners. Just to give a little update as where we're at, we've got Katie, we've got Four Seasons Hotel, we've got flights for you and me, and accommodation for you and me. It's a really yeah. nice um, double bed, duck down duvet, 12 dogs, uh, many, many threads on the sheets. Yeah. This is our call sheet of actors. They literally <laughs> sent over photos of themselves with numbers in front. We picked the it ones does that look a little bit like a police lineup, doesn't it? Yeah. After months of planning, we had actors, dinner at the Four Seasons, flights, hotels, a trophy, cameras, and a top tier racist. As our flight landed, Katie's was taking off. I know this because I booked my mate Brian on the same flight to take some pictures of her. With confirmation that Hopkins was in Prague, we hopped it to her hotel to take some more. Not her, false alarm. Not her? Not her. And played a game of spot the racist. Archie got 10 points in the first round when tragically I got the wrong person. Just getting a confirmed idea on the fact that it's just a taxi turning around. Yep, no, not that one either, sorry. We were both losing the game for 45 minutes. And then suddenly, there Katie was, a racist. Just like this one, just like yeah. this. With the Hopkins safely in her hotel, we went home to get ready and check my shirt was white enough for Katie. Having ironed the posh boy's shirt, we headed to the private room of the posh hotel. Although, with four hidden cameras, it wasn't that private anymore. This five-star Four Seasons hotel would serve us a three-course meal. And in a second, we'd meet the one receiving an award. First, we had to brief the brand new members of the Cape Town Collective for Freedom of Speech. You might recognize some of them from Prague car adverts. But tonight, these actors have a slightly different role. Um, as far as how we all know each other, we are all members of the Cape Town Collective for the Freedom of Speech. It is a group that meets monthly, thereabouts. My name is John Peters. Yes, tonight I'm John Peters. You might remember that Katie's been receiving emails from Leslie, my father. Annoyingly, the real Leslie is in Mauritius. Happy birthday, Dad. So we needed an excuse for why I'm running the evening. My father's Leslie Peters, as you all know, is the chairman of the Cape Town Collective. Wish he could be here tonight. Obviously, we wish he could be here tonight. He's got a terrible bout of gastro, so he is sick in his hotel room currently. I love the Cape Town Collective for freedom of speech, and I, I really want to follow in his footsteps. And, and hopefully be the chairman of the collective one day. And then, with the actors primed, Leslie's absence explained, and the Mozilla Firefox logo on the screen, Katie had arrived. 
Archie and I spent the entirety of the evening charming Katie, ensuring she was fully relaxed and happy as she dined on five-star food and drank top-notch wine. There was one thing left to do before giving Katie the Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy. I had to make a speech to really convince her that we were real. Welcome again. Uh, it's been a brilliant evening so far. Thank you, obviously, Katie, for joining us. Now, I wish I could take credit for the speech, but it was actually written uh, by my father, Leslie, who is our chairman. Um, he's asked me to say just a few words on his behalf. We need freedom of speech from politicians to journalists, campaign groups to creatives, YouTubers to you in this room, without being able to say what we think, without being able to mock other people, without being able to attack people, we are not free. Which brings me to Katie Hopkins, the recipient of the inaugural Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy. I cannot think of a more worthy recipient. For the tide is changing. The intellectual battle against the woke brigade is being won. The snowflakes are melting. And Katie Hopkins in the United Kingdom and far beyond should take a great deal of credit. For the ice caps of political correctness are starting to collapse. Katie has experienced a huge amount of online hate. Some people on the internet rarely seem to want to bring her down. There are people out there wanting to ridicule her, wanting to mock her. It is not at all possible to properly outline just what an inspiration you are to us all, Katie. It is an absolute pleasure on behalf of all of the members of the Cape Town Collective for the Freedom of Speech to announce that the recipient for the 2020 Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy is Katie Hopkins. And as Katie came up to collect her fake award, we had one more surprise in store. We had succeeded. We made Katie Hopkins fly 1,600 miles to pick up a fake award and put the word behind her without her noticing. You might wonder if this is a bit mean. For a moment, I did too. But then she made her speech and told us what she really thought. This is by far the most fun I've had in a very long time. Me too, Katie. Me too. I am not used to uh, receiving awards. It is strange, and it's strange to hear nice things being said about yourself. You sit there and you think... Wait a minute, they're saying that about me. Uh, whereas normally it is a kind of a, an incoming deluge of fireballs coming my way. So it's kind of an odd thing for that to be tipped on its head, but I really do appreciate it. If you call Mohammed in a school playground in the UK, 2,000 kids come running and you don't want any of them. Epileptics are all weirdos. They're up there with the Asians. The East London's fairly shitty in the best of times. 82% Muslim, what can I say? Most people are raping their own mother. I guess Muslims are different. So she, uh, I believe her name was uh, her fiancé, I believe his name was Anyway, they practice because they're such retards. Other places where people get stabbed a lot or try and rape their own mother or have five wives. Greta! How dare you! Autistic f***ing wench. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Having all pretended to enjoy that horror show, we decided we needed a drink, which made us wonder if we could play some old-fashioned games. You might ask what the whole point of this thing is. Why did Archie and I fly Katie Hopkins to Prague and give her a stupid fake award? The truth is, there's an awful lot of hate in this world. And people like Katie Hopkins spread that hate and make money from it. And she can do that because she has freedom of speech. But so do I. So I used it to combat her spreading of hatred by playing on her ego and making her look a little bit silly. Anyway, to finish off, here's a message from our chairman. Hi everyone, Leslie Peters here the chairman of the Cape Town Collective for the Freedom of Speech. It's with great sadness that I have to report that Katie has been banned on Twitter 
and as a result thereof, she can no longer be a member of this society. Goodbye.